So all matter in this world is made up of atoms. This table is atoms, I am atoms, these flowers are atoms, my iPad is atoms. All atoms are composed of a central nucleus which is made of protons and neutrons. So neutrons are neutrally charged. Protons are positively charged, so this nucleus has a positive charge. Floating around the nucleus in various orbitals are electrons, and electrons are negatively charged. So elements, if you think of the periodic table, consists of all different things. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, all of those things in the periodic table, those are elements. So elements have specific numbers of electrons, mass, and structure. Each element has its own atomic number and atomic mass. The atomic number tells how many protons it has, so how many positive charge that it has. Atoms themselves are neutral, so typically the number of protons that an atom has is also the number of electrons that it has, because the protons are positive and electrons are negative, and we want our atom to be neutral. The atomic mass is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So think that center nucleus made of protons and neutrons, the weight of that is the atomic mass. And again, re remember the atomic number is just the number of protons. So if we look at the periodic table, so the way it's set up by row is the number of protons. So you have like one and then two's over here, it's three, four, kind of skips a bunch, five, six, and that's because they're set up into subcategories. So there's like different types of metals and things like that. Um, you don't need to know all that for the T's. Uh, there's something called isotopes. And so isotopes are atoms of the same element that have a different number of neutrons. So remember we said that when you have protons, you have to have an equal amount of neutrons. Well, isotopes are things that don't follow those rules. A compound is a substance that is composed of two or more molecules. So a compound is something that's composed of two or more elements that are bonded together. So you can think of this as like sodium chloride because it contains two elements, sodium and chloride, and they're bonded together. If you want that free 14-page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's Science Study Guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.